bringing all the kids to Parliament Hill and seeing them all uniting as one. It just goes to show that together we can become a powerful force to be reckoned with. And giving kids that opportunity to feel the emotion of the crowd, all saying and believing in the same things together, speaks volumes. You all want to be diamond? Yeah. You all want to change the culture? You all want to go out and be the heroes that this society needs to be? Yeah. We need heroes. It's in your hands. Whenever somebody comes and says to me, this is a woman's issue, I mean, it's, it's a ridiculous concept because that woman didn't get pregnant without a man involved. Uh, most abortionists are men. You, I ask you to go out to be a hero, to go out and start posting on your walls, posting on all the different avenues you have of communication, words of life, words of truth, words of beauty. In this day and age, we are a technological society. And we have an amazing tool in the internet and with social media and with radio and television to spread the word like we've never had before. The future of the pro-life movement is that there won't be a pro-life movement because there will be an end to abortion because there's so many pro-life young people now and it's growing and growing and as Jim Hughes always says, the young people aren't the future of the pro-life movement, they're the present and I think that we're really going to be the ones to change the movement. Abortion has been something swept under the rug and it has been uh, twisted into an idea of a false idea of liberty and freedom and hopefully the truth will uh, finally win in the end and hopefully that end comes soon. Yes.